Hey guys, how are you? This is Wendy Kim of Your Dream Realized Business and Financial Coaching, empowering cube dwellers to start their own passion-based business. And I'm so excited to be able to talk to you guys today about how to actually start your business today. And if you've been thinking about starting your own business, stop thinking and actually start it today. And you're probably like, how in the world can I start my business today? Like I coach a lot of people and I meet with different people and people get so bogged down. They're like, oh, I have to have the perfect website. I have to have the perfect Facebook page. I have to have the perfect program. I have to have my business cards. I have to my, have my logo. What technology should I use? Should I use WordPress? Should I? I mean, it's crazy. But really, what is happening is they're hiding behind technology and a business plan and different things because they're afraid. They're afraid to put themselves out there. So what a business is fundamentally is it's about helping people, helping people solve problems in their lives. And so what I would recommend is figuring out, okay, well, first of all, what do you want to help people with? For me, it was helping people with their finances when I started my financial coaching. But I, I mean, I know people who are really excited about organization, really excited about productivity, um, websites, like it could be anything. Whatever excites you, whatever makes you feel alive, whatever it is you can help people with is what you should start with. So say for instance, you want to start a business doing organizational coaching. I mean, hello, who doesn't need help with organizing? You, what I would recommend to you is actually talking to a few of your friends. And we all know people generally who have maybe a problem that we could help them with. And sometimes it's a little awkward, but I think the way to frame it is, hey, I'm starting this business. Can, I, can you help me? Can you help me by being um, a guinea pig in a sense, a, potent, an, a client? And you don't have to charge, or maybe you could charge like very a minimal fee up front, but just asking them, hey, can you help me? I want to start an organization business, but I need experience. Can we spend a few hours on a Saturday or an evening where I go through your closets and help you organize? And if you're happy, would you give me a testimonial? So whatever it is that you're excited about, think of three people whom you could ask to help them with whatever excites you and whatever with what they need help with. And ultimately, that's how it's so easy. You don't have to spend a ton of time researching, a ton of time building a website, what you need is experience actually helping people. Um, an example of this is I'm working with a few girls right now at the Proy School on starting an apparel business that helps Black Lives Matter and helps Chicanas. And so they were, they were researching, they were getting bogged down, and so what we agreed on is sell three shirts or jackets. And you will learn more from those three sales than hours and hours of research or listening to podcasts or reading books. So that would be my challenge for you. If you're thinking about starting a business, start. Ask three people today if you can help them solve their particular problem with your skill and let me know how it goes. If you have any questions or if you want any more tips like this, please leave a comment. And you can also go to my Facebook group, Escape the Cube, and request to be added, or you can ask me yourself. Okay, bye guys. Talk to you soon.